Good morning, children. Today's your class is class six, and the subject we are going to take is science. And the lesson is children. It is components of food. We already have started with this, so you know that what are the components, why food is required, uh, what the food will give. If we are not taking proper food, what will happen? This only you have learned. What is balanced food and all. So food components we know that. What are the food components, children? You tell me. Yeah, it's correct. It is. Carbohydrate is there, proteins are there, fats are there, vitamins, minerals, fibers, these all are the food components. Okay, so all these food components should be included in our food. Then only we can say that it is a balanced food. One should take always balanced food, okay, otherwise it won't be more effective with us. If we are taking only carbohydrate, then where from we get proteins and all, we won't get it, right? So, our uh, food should be included all this food components. Here we will study one by one what are the food components, what is the benefit of that, where from we get all these food components. Okay, children? Yeah, first of all. Uh, so today's topic is what do various nutrients do for our body? Nutrients means components of food. Okay. So what are they, these nutrients? Nutrients are like the carbohydrate, proteins, vitamins, and all. So we will see one by one that how it will be useful for us, where from we will get or which food contains all these nutrients or food components. First one is carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. Carbohydrate that, that it provides us to uh, energy, energy to our body. Okay, so if we are taking carbohydrate more, it will give us more energy. So why children we need energy? We know that energy is required for, required for doing all sort of work. If we don't have sufficient energy, our body will be very tired. We can't do all the activities properly. So we need to get energy more. So when you take carbohydrates, it will give us more energy. So directly we are not taking carbohydrates, what form we can take carbon carbohydrate is, see, suppose we are taking rice. Then rice contain carbohydrate. Then meat. Suppose we are taking roti or chapati. Then we are taking carbohydrate. Okay. So the sources of carbohydrate or which are the food uh, carbohydrate is present. That is wheat, rice, potato, sugar cane, mango, maize, all this. Not only this much, many food items contain carbohydrate. So if we include all these things in our daily food, we will get a sufficient carbohydrate. So children, carbohydrate are one of the nutrients of our food or one of the food components of our food. So it will give us energy to do all the activities and uh, different food items which give us carbohydrate are wheat, rice, uh, potato, sugar cane, all this, mango, maize, this all will give us carbohydrate. Okay, children, now uh, I feel you understood all these things. Carbohydrate is one of the food components. It is one of the food component, or we can say that it is one of the nutrients. So when we are eating potato, we are getting carbohydrate. If we are taking sugar cane, we are getting carbohydrate. Okay, all right. So next one. So what is the next food component, children? Yeah, it is proteins. Correct. It is proteins only. So proteins. Proteins needed for the growth and repair of our body. So protein also very much required for us, especially in your age. Teenage and old children and all should take more proteins. Why? Because you are in the growing stage. So you need more growth. Growth is required in your body. So Needed for growth and repair of our body, these proteins are required. Okay, so children or uh, adolescent children should take more proteins. Proteins are required in our body for our growth and the repair of the body. What is the meaning of repair? Repair means, see the cells, we are made up of cells only. Lot of cells are there. When cells are damaging, the other cells should be replaced. That is called the repair. Okay, so cell will be dying and new cells will be forming in our body. For all this, uh, we need more proteins. It is also known as body building food. Okay, these proteins are also known as 
body building food so tell me children where from you get proteins yeah correct all cereals like gram peas dal milk egg meat all this will give you more protein so all this should be included in your daily diet okay second one is protein proteins are the one of the food component or one of the food nutrients which give you which support your growth and repair your body and it is also known as body building food and different sources the sources means different food items which give you proteins are gram peas curd dal milk egg etc not only this many other things also will give you proteins okay so few examples only i have told you so you might be knowing more about this proteins are the second nutrient food components so it is needed for the growth and repair of the body it is also known as body building food okay then all right children now two components we have learned you tell me children which are the food components we have learned number one is carbohydrate and the second one is proteins okay so we will move to the third one children third one you tell me what is the third component yeah right it is fats fats or lipids the other name of fat is lipids so this also will give you energy children this also will give you more energy so here uh, another one carbohydrate carbohydrate give you more energy and even fats also give you more energy energy is required for doing different activities if energy is less in our body what will happen yeah you feel very tired okay children so fats we know that a fat it is like oil oil see cooking oil butter ghee milk meat all this contains lot of fats or lipids so this fat also needed for our daily activity so it should be included in our diet okay that is the third part so first one you tell me children first one is carbohydrate second one is protein and third one yeah it's fats fats also will give us energy and different food items or sources of these fats are all type of oils see cooking oils we know that at home we are using different type of cooking oils see coconut oil we will use then groundnut oil we will use then soya bean like that okay this all will contain fat or lipid and the, let us see the fourth components of food that is vitamins see you have heard many times about vitamins you know different type of vitamins also what are the what are the benefit of all these vitamins okay vitamins actually vitamins it is required in small quantities only but we need vitamins in our daily food okay if we are not taking sufficient vitamins what will happen automatically we will fall in sick okay here vitamins it will protect it is a protecting food protecting food means it will uh, protect us from diseases sickness okay protecting food provide protection against diseases if you are taking sufficient vitamins in in food you will be away from different diseases all right children so different vitamins different vitamins you know that you tell me children what are the different type of vitamins yeah it's correct vitamin a is there b is there c is there d is there e and k these all are different type of vitamins so each vitamins will be having different sources vitamin a see for example we will say that carrot if you eat more carrot uh, carrot is contain full of vitamins and it will be very good for our eyes and all people will say no you know that so vitamin b b will be in the form of b complex we know that dr sandor will prescribe some tonic in the form of b complex then vitamin c vitamin c c people will say no you should take a sort uh, fruits and all for example lemon orange all the sourish food if you take you will get a plenty of vitamin c then c vitamin c now also it is corona time people will say that you take vitamin c vitamin d and all. it will be uh, protecting you from the diseases then vitamin d vitamin d c actually vitamin d from nature itself you will get can you tell me children how do you get vitamin 
D from the nature. Yeah, what is the other name of vitamin D? Yeah, correct. It is sunlight, sunshine vitamin. It is sunshine vitamin. Vitamin D is known as sunshine vitamin. Why? Because we are getting this vitamin D from the sunlight. That is why people will say, doctors and all will say that uh, we should, uh, should be in the outside for some time in the morning time. Till 10 o'clock and all, if we get a morning sunshine, then plenty of vitamin D we will get from the sunshine. And even in the evening time, evening time if we are exposing this sunlight, evening sunlight and morning sunlight, then we will get a plenty of vitamin D. Even newborn babies and all doctors will say that just to show the sunlight for some 30 minutes like that to get a plenty of vitamin D. Then vitamin E and vitamin K, this all are different type of vitamins. So vitamin A, B, C, D, E and K, these all vitamins are present in different fruits, vegetables, leaves and all. So here see for example liver, liver contains more vitamin D. Tomato, vitamin C, go and roll, go amla, amla also, amla is gooseberry, that contain full of vitamin C. Milk, butter, fish, meat, everything, all this, almost all food items contains different type of vitamins. So, once again children, today's our topic is, what do various nutrients do for our body? You tell me what are the different nutrients we have learnt? Yeah, correct. Number one is carbohydrates. Number two is protein and number three is fats and number four vitamins. Still there, fibers are there, minerals are there. These are the main one. So we'll revise once again children. The first one is carbohydrate. Mainly you get the carbohydrate from wheat, rice, etc. Okay, potatoes and all daily we will eat now. So you are getting plenty of carbohydrate. Actually what this carbohydrate will do children? It will provide you energy. Okay, alright. Second one is protein. Protein actually it is very good for, it is one of the essential factor for the growth of the body. So when you, now you are undergoing the growing age. So you should eat, take a full of proteins like all different type of dance, then uh, brown nut, then milk, egg, all these are very good sources of proteins. So it is, it, it will build your, build up your body. So it is known as bodybuilding food. Next one, fats. Fats, you know that it is oil only in the form of oil. The other name of fat is liquid. It is in the form of oil. Uh, daily we will use different type of oils for cooking also. Okay. So that is, so those are different type of, say, groundnut oil, coconut oil, fish meat, milk, all this will provide you fats. The next one is vitamins. Vitamins will be obtaining from almost all food items, especially fruits, leaves and all, you will get a lot of vitamins. And vitamins will provide you from different sickness, illness, especially vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin D and all, uh, should, be, uh, should be taken sufficiently, then you will be free from all diseases. And vitamin D is also known as sunshine vitamins. Why? Because, yeah, tell me why? Because it is obtained from the sunlight. It is uh, no cost. Okay, it is cheaper only, no cost to digest. Come out from home and you get some sunshine in the morning time. And evening time you get it, automatically you will get a lot of vitamin D. So, children, you will be exposing outside only, so you will be uh, having sufficient form of vitamin D. All right, children. Today we will wind up this class and revise all these things. Thank you, children. Enjoy your day, children. Bye.